Keeping it short and sweet this time, these are my favorite cases for the Samsung S10. So let's check it out. This is my go-to daily case, my super slim and not that protective Spigen Thin Fit. It's not only the size that wins me over though, it's the soft and grippy kind of sticky coating they use on the matte black option. It just feels so good and comforting to hold, you know, like the smooth touch of a loved one, except it's a phone case and a little sad. I personally prefer the full button cutouts, there's nothing to get in the way of interacting with the actual phone, and as slim as it is, it still offers quite a hump for the camera around back. Honestly, this case is so thin you almost forget you have a case on. I would borderline consider it a stiff skin instead, adding almost no thickness or bulk to the phone and barely even has a lip around the front for your screen, which is the big downside. If you're a klutz, this is not the case for you as it lacks any sort of protection outside of scratch resistance. For anyone else that can hold things properly though, pair this with your favorite screen protector and you've got one of the best feeling cases. It's definitely better than holding that slippery and glossy naked S10 and it just works without getting in the way of using the phone whatsoever. This is my go-to daily driver case. Moving on to straight into the complete opposite though for anyone that dropped their phone twice every hour you need a tough case and the rhino shield solid suit is one of my favorite to keep your device safe the standard white pairs beautifully with the arctic white s10 and it also has a matte finish around back that won't grease up although it's smooth throughout the case does offer a little texture around the edges to help with your finger strength and the case is slim enough you can still comfortably wrap your hand around it without feeling like you're doing finger yoga every time you want to hit that back button the case works as expected covered and clicky buttons plenty of coverage around back for those lenses plus if that exciting plain white doesn't get you off, they also offer a fancy customization service for gold foiling leather to look super posh. And for those in college or still act like they are, there's a jersey style print too. There's also a wide range of custom designs you can choose from on their website, but I love me some good old classic pure black stealthiness. The case itself still feels comfortable to hold considering it's a tough case. I even did this a while back to test it. While the S10 didn't make it out scratch free, this shock spread tech they have inside their cases did a damn good job protecting the S10 up till then. The Rhino Shield Solid Suit has been one of my favorite cases to use thanks to its range of designs to choose from, but just how great this tough case can feel in the hand. This one is for those days you just can't seem to hold anything properly. Now I know what you're going to comment, which is better, Rhino Shield or mouse cases? Well I've included both in this list simply because they're both really freaking good at keeping your phone safe. In my opinion, it all comes down to style and aesthetic between the two as I've also previously tested this arrow shot goopy green stuff along the edges and it does a damn good job at absorbing impact. Combine that with the generous lip along the top and bottom of the case to keep it from face planning and a lifted cutout for the camera around back as well. You're pretty covered for most daily scenarios but if for some reason you decided to do this I've tested that too and it came out totally fine. The buttons are slightly raised, provide excellent click response while not being too hard to push. Large cutouts throughout the bottom that aren't too deep so should accommodate most cables just fine. And like I said, it's just this really beautiful real bamboo backing that may cause you to choose this over the Rhino Shield for. If you're not a real Asian though, then they've got a few other real material back options too. Plus these round dots represent magnets that allow you to attach the range of accessories like a wallet or a car mount on the backside, sold separately of course. In the end, I also completely trust my phone in this case as well. Now this case not only stores your money but also saves you quite a bit too. The Silk Wallet Slayer Volume 1 is a single piece of all rubber that is really affordable but has a lot to offer too as it still utilizes its grippy sandy like texture edges for that extra oomph in your hand and thankfully it's got that all matte black finish that won't crease up so easily either. Buttons are still clicky and the camera has plenty of coverage too. The real beauty of the case like most things in life is around back though. That Ninja Turtle hump that stores all the goodies with a cutout for quick access will securely hold in three cards no matter how hard do shake it off. Better yet, if you can't afford to own three cards, I get it, no judgment, it's just as tight with one card too. Cards are completely covered but can easily be stored and accessed through the main opening with room to spare. And as thick as the foam may be with the additional three cards, the grippy finish, sloped edges, and matte everything makes it actually bearable to deal with. Plus, it's got a slight lip to keep your screen lifted when you decide to high five it onto a table. That's not all folks, this little butt crack here also doubles the fun. Stick a card inside and wah bam. You've got all the hands free video action you need with a pretty stable stand. It's a fairly smart feature in my books. You've already got the card, so why not double its usage? Now, although the case is pretty thick around back, it's no tough case. The case is pretty simple and flexible, but it is more than enough to handle your day to day business. If you're looking to ditch the wallet, an ID, credit card, and Metro Pass can get you through the day with this one. Unfortunately, for you slow charger believers out there, this case does mean it will no longer work. You must be devastated, I know, but no one 
actually likes wireless charging. Now for those really buttery hands, this Spec Presidio grip case is a must. A hard shell case with strips and strips of rubber throughout the backside and edges. It's almost impossible to let go of this case. I personally also dig the symmetrical look of it, like something out of Tron. And as funky as it may look, it does feel really great to hold. Mainly thanks to the slim design and actually having something for each finger to cling onto. The buttons are also very clicky still, and again, coverage for the main ladies around back. It'll add some bulkiness, but not to the point it ruins the experience of using the phone one-handed. Plus, it wraps the whole screen with a thick rubber lip, keeping it raised when set face down. Spec also incorporates their Impactium tech too, basically rubber infused throughout the whole inside of the case to form air pockets to help absorb impact, and for the most part, works even beyond your regular drops. But the best part about the Presidio grip is although it's a fairly protective case, it's so grippy you'll never actually let it go. But if you do, it's got you. If you really want to show off your new Samsung S10, you need a clear case. My favorite continually goes to the Catalyst Impact Protection Case, mainly for the simple design, matte flat edges, and trusted protection. A full clear window around back, no branding to get in the way, with fairly flat but textured buttons. They're not raised, but still very clicky. The backside is thick enough to keep the camera protected, and there's a lip around the front to do the same for the screen. But what makes this case worthy of being my favorite is this Illuminati pattern along the inside edges. They call it their Impact Trust System, designed to cushion drops, and in my testing, I found it works as advertised. It's not a super tough case, but can hold its weight for such a slim design. And thankfully, if you really suck at holding things, there is a lanyard loop and they even include one too. Basically, wrap this around your wrist whenever you use your phone and you're 99% less likely to drop your phone because there's always that 1% that finds a way. As mentioned, the case itself is manageable one-handed, thanks to the slim design, but more so the flat matte edges. It makes gripping onto your phone comfortable and allows your fingers to grasp onto something. And as much as I love a black design, with the all white S10, it would match beautifully with their all clear design. Unfortunately, I've only got it for the S10 Plus here, but if you use a little imagination, you can see that beautiful snowman design shine through in all its glory. Plus, you still get that wicked matte finish. This is the perfect case combo for you show offs out there. This is for those who want that cool, unique, one of a kind factor. The official Samsung LED back cover is, as the name suggests, a case with LEDs built into it. The simple plastic, glossy, and thin case has lights built in side of it. This one also doesn't run off batteries and speaks to your S10 through NFC Magic. It will auto magically download the LED cover app for you to control the case, which will allow you to either turn it off, have mood lighting, or show some cute little animations. This case is just fun. You'll scratch your head at how it works, and it's definitely a conversation starter when you say you have a pet bird at the club. The case itself is super simple, a very slim plastic build, glossy on one side, and a soft microfiber on the inside. There's cutouts for the buttons and throughout the bottom, really emphasizing its slimness. And although I'm not a huge fan of the fingerprint magnet finish, it's worth it for what the case can do for you in return. Now it does come with the cost of major protection though, you're covered for scratches along the table, but there isn't any impact protection on this thin mint of a case. As pretty as these lights are, it can also be useful too. One particular use case is with a camera timer. Turn it on, take your shot, and flipping around, you'll be able to see a countdown so you know when not to blink. This case is for those who are bored of regular cases and just want something new and cool. I'll admit, I wish they had this for the iPhone, and this is almost innovative enough for me to give up Apple for. Or not. All the links and discount codes can be found down below, but that's it. Let me know what case you're rocking on your S10. I rest my case.